morning, Internet. How y'all doing on this beautiful morning? We're going to do a little bit of testing today, and we're going to test out the Ride with GPS app. We got the uh, uh, premium service on that. We went out for a ride oh, several days ago, and I was just not real crazy about uh, some of the navigation features on it. I was not able to reverse the route midway and navigate my way back. And we kind of lost the route. We didn't get lost because I knew where we were going. We were still just kind of trying out the app and everything. Worked beautiful on the way out. But as soon as we finished the route, that's when I ran into problems. And, and I'm not going to say there were problems with the app. There are problem with, uh, a problem with my lack of experience with the app. And so that's what we're going to try and do today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and see about planning out a little ride. And uh, uh, we're going to take it and see what we can do with it at the end of the ride. See what kind of tracking we can do beyond that. And we'll just kind of get a little bit more knowledge of it. So stick around. And let's see where we what we come up with. What we're going to do is we're going to plan a route and it's, this is just going to be a test route and so we're going to start out right there and pull it down we're just going to go to there and that's where I'm going to end the route at and I'm going to see what happens when I go out there and I ride this route. Now, we're doing this on the phone because the internet is out right now and so it won't transfer over from the iPad to the phone. But we're just gonna go ahead and do it on the phone and we're gonna name this Test O Test A is what we're gonna name this. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull up the ride with GPS. We're gonna go to the library and we're gonna pick out a route. And we've got test route A, the one that we've designed and we are going to navigate it. So let's head on out. Quarter mile, turn left. Route complete. Route complete. So. What we're going to take a look at doing here is route complete. Would you like to end navigation? Question mark. Recording will continue. I don't think I'm going to end the navigation. I'm going to continue with the navigation, and I'll tell you why. This is what I wanted to actually find out here, is my start point. That green flag right there is the start of the route. I don't think it is my start point. We'll test that out again here at some point. But... We can just go ahead and come off course here a little bit and see what happens with everything. So that would be test number one. We will not end the navigation. So as you can see, we are, uh, the green flag is still our start of our route. We're finding our way straight back to our route. So we're going to come down here. Turn left onto Lakewood Road. And we are going to finish navigation. We're going to save that. We are going to take this route again. We're going to look up our routes. We're going to do test A. 
we are going to navigate test number A. And I will see you at the end of the route because this time we are going to say yes to that uh, question where it says you finished your route. I'm going to say yes to finish the route, finish navigating, and I'm going to see what happens, what the difference is. Route complete. So, this time, Route complete. making all kinds of fun noises. This time we're going to click, we would like to end navigation, but continue riding. The point of interest is still labeled there. Uh, don't really have a flag there. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back and we're going to evaluate this data and see if it makes any kind of difference. If one way would be better than the other. Uh, the only thing that I see right off the bat is it doesn't have a flag as to where you started. And so if you did a I don't know that that would be a big... Maybe I'm just being too ridiculous about it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll just kind of evaluate it. And we'll go from there. And at least we got a little bit more knowledge of how it works. Well, what did we find out? Well, let's take a route here. And let's say we designed this route here. And we wanted to come up into this area. And then we just wanted to explore. If I wanted to track my entire ride, I can do that. Okay, we're going to start at the beginning down here and we ride on up. When you get to the end of the route that you have planned, it's going to ask you if you would like to continue navigating or not. If you want to keep all of the information on your, on your phone on this route, uh, such as the mileage markers, points of interest, and that type of thing, then when it asks you if you wish to uh, stop navigating, click no. And you're going to keep all your mileage markers and, and that type of thing. And that will give you a little idea of how far you have to go when you're on your way back. If you're not concerned about keeping the information on the map, mileage markers, uh, points of interest, that type of thing, you can go ahead and click stop navigating. What's going to happen is your original route, and it's going to be in blue on your phone, is going to disappear. But you're still going to have your map that you've ridden the entire way. It's still going to be there. So you could come down through here and find your way back that way. So that should let you know what to do with the Ride with GPS map as far as keeping your routes on there and expanding them on the fly, so to speak. And that's going to do it for now, folks. Until the next time, stay safe, God bless, and keep those wheels rolling. We're out.